So Cape Town is not immune from all of the issues that South African cities face and many cities in the developing world. It has a huge amount of poverty, unemployment, it struggles with the issue of, of high crime, like so many South African cities and cities around the world. There are still far too many people in Cape Town living in really tough conditions of poverty. That poverty has a lot of everyday uh, difficult features, but actually the most serious thing that it does is robs people of economic opportunity and robs them of the chance to improve uh, in, in life and, and get a better life for their kids and their family. And so that's, you know, that's the, the absolute number one thing that I would change, of course, is I would have far few, fewer people in, living in poverty and more people in, in jobs and a much bigger economy. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do in politics and trying to do in the city is to grow this city over time so that people can get out of poverty because poverty is the most harmful blocker to improving people's lives in our society. So for water, we, we are building our own new supplies of water in the city. Uh, the, the aim is that by the end of the decade, we want to be able to provide more than a third, about 35% of the city's water needs from new sources of water that we that we make ourselves essentially. So we have a number of projects like uh, drilling into our aquifers. Those two are already done actually. And we are currently drawing water out of the Cape Flats aquifer and the Table Mountain Group aquifer. We will increase the amount of water that we pull out of those aquifers over the coming years. Uh, and then next year, uh, sometime in the second half of next year, we will start construction on a very large water recycling plant in Cape Town, uh, which will be a, a first for our city, uh, and will, when it's done, provide about 100 megalitres of water a day uh, to the city. So that, that, by the end of the decade, we will be very resilient to, to whatever the environment can throw at us in terms of drought. Uh, and in electricity, we're basically trying to do exactly the same thing uh, with, a different, with a different resource, with electricity. We're trying to buy new sources of electricity that are not from ESCOM, uh, particularly from uh, IPPs, what are called IPPs, independent power producers. And we've already gone to market to buy 700 megawatts of power from IPPs, uh, which would allow us to protect the city against stage four load shedding and possibly even further than that in the, in the next couple of years. So that's our goal. It's in, in all of these aspects, actually, whether it be in crime or public transport or energy or water, is to make us resilient for the future, to make, to make sure that Cape Town can withstand whatever pressures are thrown at us and that our city can continue to thrive and continue to be a place that attracts more people, uh, that shows the, the rest of the country how, well, you know, what we can do. I do think so, and in more than that, uh, so we are explicitly trying to be a model for, for the rest of the country. We want South Africans to feel that our country can work, uh, and at the moment it's hard to, to feel positive about the future of the country, but we want people to be able to look at Cape Town and say, well, there is an example of how things could work elsewhere, in Tuane, in Ikuruleni, in Durban, and elsewhere. And uh, there's no reason why it can't be the same there. If, if it's possible here, it's the same country, it's the same people, it's, Everything is the same, uh, so we can do it, and um, and so we are explicitly trying to be that example, and not just in water and and energy, but 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 in everything to do with with our local government. That doesn't mean that we don't have challenges. We also have high crime. We also have poverty. We also have high unemployment. You can do things about those things. You, you don't have to just throw your hands up and say, well, there's nothing we can do. Those problems are too difficult. They're too old. Uh, they're too big. We can actually knock down unemployment as we are doing. That's why two-thirds of the jobs created in the whole country uh, in the last quarter were created in Cape Town. So we can do something about it and that's, that's what we're trying to show. I think it's going to absolutely boom uh, beyond, I mean Cape Town's had a boom for most of the last 10 years. Obviously it suffered greatly through COVID because Cape Town is very much a tourist economy. So COVID hit Cape Town probably harder than anywhere else uh, in, in South Africa. But we are recovering well from COVID and we are back to, I think soon, back to boom times. 
Uh, we are seeing massive immigration to Cape Town. We're seeing a big boost in property prices that comes with its own problems, of course, because it's very expensive to live in Cape Town now. Uh, more and more businesses starting to move here. And I think that will only accelerate greatly, especially when we sort out the energy uh, issues and stop load shedding, uh, then it will be even more attractive to come to, to the city that is working.